Previously on Welcome to the Family. My first hockey game. I think I'm an example. She's getting much, much worse. If you can't do it in six months, I don't want to be tied into anybody for longer than that. First time ever he speaks to his children here in the United States since I was a child. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Good morning. I am driving up to Fort Lauderdale or Broward or wherever I am. It's still in South Florida, but I'm driving north uh, because I am going to my sister's career day at her elementary school. And I have to speak to children. I'm not so thrilled about this. I'm also using my GPS because I have no clue where I'm going. I haven't been up to this school. I think I think I've been up there once, but several years ago. All right. Well, I'll let you guys go, and I'll let you know how it goes. So when you're in business, you have to have a lot of meetings. My uncle has this friend named Bill Lara. And every time we have a party, he comes over. And he's kind of interesting and unusual sometimes. So we had this meeting, and I just asked him a couple of questions, you know, just to like break the ice and get the meeting going. And all of a sudden, he felt like I was attacking him. And I'm not sure what you guys had in mind. So I need, I need to hear from you, actually. Which was very odd because I was just asking him, like, what are you up to? You know, so where have you been lately? You know, just very generic questions. What we do is training and seminars. That's strictly what we do. And all of a sudden he told me he felt like, that he felt awkward, which was awkward for me. Right, like, you're you're right. right. Like Which is code for, Bert, I need your help. This is a good start. That truck right there says Fort Lauderdale Police Bomb Squad. That's always what you want to see when you get to a school, a bomb squad truck. This is apparently what classrooms look like nowadays. They have whiteboards instead of chalkboards. Oh, the American flag's still there. I wonder if they say their Pledge of Allegiance. And then now they have these nice projectors and projector screens. Really cool. I am not your typical business person. My whole persona in front of all these guys as a Mr. Journalist in the middle of everything, touched by nothing. The reason they talk to me and they trust me when I say go with this guy is because even though I will tell them if I'm getting something, I'm not expected to be pushing one over the other. So I don't put myself in front. I usually tend to be hanging in the shadows. The people who need to know, that's been my thing. They know why. The people who don't need to know, they know they don't need to know. No. Turns out that he is a very, very interesting person. He's very knowledgeable and knows his stuff. There's no doubt about it. We have the speaking thing down pat. In fact, I want to show you, I don't know if you've seen it already, the stuff that we did for Belize. In my mind, from day one, trust me, I've already made plans with you. I've already seen you. The reason why I brought the idea of the Mekasuki thing, I, I want to get you into this education possibilities, workshop possibilities, representation possibilities, all sorts of things that I've already seen you're able to do. You you got the operation, the people around you, you really are prepared, you're set. The ability you have to produce, the personnel you already have in place, doing what you do. I, I told you the other night I was here, your guys are very good. The editing is amazing. I think what you need is more distribution, more representation, more people need to see it on a light that appeals to them. So I just finished doing my second session here at Career Day. This is the classroom I'm in. It's so weird. I have one more session. For the most part, I'm just entertaining them with random film questions. They've been asking about Roger Rabbit. No, I brought up Roger Rabbit, but they've been asking about that. Animation seems to be a very popular <laughs> topic that these kids like to talk about. Uh, stop motion, surprisingly. They know this term and they've been bringing that up. So I have basically been a film industry person today at career day. <laughs> it's so weird. So far the kids have been fine. I only really work with crazy people. It's the I don't work with no men. You know, that's why we've been, been very successful in what we do. It's finding the right team that can work together after the same goal. That's what I'm looking for. So to me, give somebody $10,000 and because they're going to work their asses off? No, man, you're supposed to work your ass off. That's so it's not point. about the $10,000. Exactly the you know, point. When you find something good, right? Like you said, you did over 100 interviews and this is the man you chose, right? Mm -hmm. You have someone, and I haven't done it yet, but I'm about to do it. I'm not one of the best. I am the best in my space. 
So Bill was also telling us about Hispanicize, how they were coming to Miami. So we thought, you know, it's awesome if we could do an episode on Hispanicize for our new show. This is what happened. This is what they want to do next. What do you think? You want in? You want out? How do we work it? So I just finished career day and it was, I don't know, <laughs> it was fun. The second session was my favorite one because the kids were, actually was the second one? No, first one was actually pretty, turned out to be pretty good. Second one was good too. Third one was a little rougher. I think it's because there are older kids. Oh my god, I look bald in this photo. All right. So, yep, I just finished my first career day. And it'll probably be my last. Not that it went bad. It just was uh, speaking to kids all day. Oh my god. What a pain. How do teachers do this? All right, back to the studio. What are we up to, E? We are, uh, what are we doing? We're preparing for our kayaking adventure. Kayak. You know it's a palindrome? We're planning on getting uh, sandwiches, chips, whatever we may need on the water. Drinks. We need drinks. Yeah, we need drinks. To get dehydrated. Wow, I'm gonna hit probably a car. So we got everything? We got everything. So we should <laughs> be ready for tomorrow. Oh boy. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds, welcome to the family show. And what I, hey, what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now. Now. <laughs>